So hello everyone, welcome to me in this video where we are basically in one of the spare bedrooms which is full of my brother's car parts and uh, it's by a popular demand especially on my brother's Instagram page of doing a quick little look through a lot of the parts bit more detail to what I did in a previous video where we just laid everything out and kind of just quickly glanced over things and just talked about um, basically what we've got and those kind of bits and pieces now some of the footage is going to be probably from then purely because I don't have those parts here they're going to be with Steve right now so yeah I, I, I'm a bit stuck with that keeping it JDM got this cap all the way from Japan from the mines booth um, but yeah let's let's basically just jump into it um, right one new part my brother has opened the box but he hasn't actually oh damn this is much um much the plasma man gtr um 76 ic pro atr this is basically his intercooler from what i'm aware of you get a sticker here is the intercooler oh my god oh wow would you look at that? Nice and shiny. So in terms of weight, I would say this probably weighs close to about 10 kilos or a little bit less. It's the Pro Series Intercooler by um, Plasma Man. You can see the welds on it as well. Let's look at that. nice so next is another really really special part my brother had ordered so this so this is the turbo elbows basically so it comes with a nice nismo um cable tie but if you look at this it's actually got these little attachments here as well for piping work to be connected to that is amazing there is the part number for that so if you do want a nismo cable tie there you go it's probably the cheapest item they do you got some nismo you got some nismo clamps here as well here we go we're starting to get some of the good stuff so this is going to be i think for the rear part so this is going to go at the back um to, of the engine block connecting up to the rear turbo you can just look at the, the welding work on that as well TIG welded all the way up perfectly you can't expect anything different from Nismo got some more clamps another small little piece of piping and then you got the main wow this is genuinely so unbelievably light like It's, it's just ridiculous the you carbon fiber is one of those things that it will never be portrayed over camera on how light it is this this it's probably weighs only a couple of grams a couple of hundred grams maybe max no this is this is less than 100 grams I would say but here we go Look at the way that weaving is. This one, this one goes to the front like that, and then the other one goes to the back. And you get your gaskets here as well. So if I carry on, yeah, we've got a lot of the door trim here as well. Uh, my brother is getting it retrimmed. There will be a full video just about the retrim coming up. Um, but yeah, very, very, very different look on the car. So you got the dashboard here as well. That's the old dashboard, but that will be going through the retrim. A few of the bits and pieces. So there's the Nissan part number for this. You can see this is just a reclining knob. As well as here's another one here as well. And they're both the same part numbers. Yeah, both the same part numbers. So those are for the seats. Brand new fuse cover. Uh, 
I'm gonna try and show as many part numbers as I can. Oh, I know what this is. So this is my brother's rear spats. They are in a different color, but they are 100% original. So these aren't new, but they're basically in perfect condition. And um, these are quite hard and rare to come by nowadays. So it's one of those things where this, this will obviously go for a respray and those kind of things. So really, I, I, I really like the blue to be honest with you. That's uh, very nice. There is two of these as well. Um, but I'm going to leave it as just the one being unpacked. So these, these are side covers for the seats. There's the part numbers for them as well. They're basically just the plastic pieces that go over on the sides of the seats. Um, so nice and fresh. What is this? It says Spec R Spoiler. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure on what these items are. But they both look to be the same, so that's the part number there, it's that. Genuine gas filler, so that's brand new. I'm not going to open the seal of this, but you can just about see the item through there. It's black, it hasn't been painted yet. This looks like a reservoir. Um, I'm guessing it's the clutch. Massive cylinder. What's that? That's the best name so far. The accumulator ass. I, I have no idea what this item actually is. Right, this has been, this is packaged to the point where I can't actually get to the part number, so I'm actually going to do a little bit of unpackaging here, just for you guys. Wow. Brand new glass for the car, so for the side mirrors. So hopefully you can see the codes just there. Um, I'm guessing one of them is fresh still in the box and the other one is out of the box, but brand new still. Most of these parts have been sourced by a company called Trusky Kaku. Um, they're based in Japan. My brother's got quite a good relationship with them right now and they have they basically find all these amazingly rare parts that are completely brand new or in amazing condition and then they'll be able to ship it around the world. This is incredibly tight to get back in there. So we'll just leave it as that. Just a bag full of brackets and clips. Brand new Nismo shift knob. Um, I don't think my brother's using this one anymore, or he might be using this one. He's got two, um, one that he bought in Japan and one that he bought recently. And there's a new one that came out, but this is one of them. So that's the Nismo shift knob. So that's the part number here. Brake master cylinder. It's gonna be brand new one in there. Let's open this up. You can already see it. Oh, this is. Brand new, completely fresh brake master cylinder. So this is another item I'm not 100% sure of what it is. Oh. Completely brand new airbox intake. And when I mean brand new, like that's the foam that goes around it. So, oh, it smells so good. I'm going to try and get one of the headlights out. Just stunning. So as you can see, completely fresh, brand new, Xenons, 
from Nissan. You do need to get um, a few of the other pieces to hold the actual bulbs in place, from what I'm aware of, but you know these bits tend to break on people constantly removing them and those kind of things, so just wow. So got two of these, one for each side. I kind of feel a little bit bad that I'm opening up all of this without my brother here, but he has told me just go and record it all. Um, this doesn't look brand spanking new, but let's see what it is. I think it's for the underbody of the car. What is this? These look brand new. I have no idea what these are. Um, they smell nice. Oh, this is the um, the front grill. So this goes on like this on the bumper. That is in really, really good condition. Wow, that's brand new. Wow. That is fantastic. I like that. What else have we got here? So I think this is a, yep, yeah, indicator lights for the UK bumper. Some trim panels and those kind of things. Some more Nissan part numbers. Not sure what this is. Oh, okay, okay. It's the brand new kick panel, I think it is. Um, so it goes on like this on the passenger side. I believe it holds a fire extinguisher here, or is it a flare? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it might be a flare. Some Nismo floor mats for the car as well. There's the part number for that. Oh my god. It's so big. Okay, I won't be able to bring out the turbo, so I'm going to have to bring you guys over here. Come with me, come with me, come with me. Like, yeah. You can see them babies. My brother has gone for a twin turbo setup. In order for me to take them out, it involves me holding the pipe work and everything. It's really, it's gonna get too messy right now, but that is the turbo setup my brother has gone for. Um, I actually can't remember the name of the whole setup, so it's gonna be mentioned just here about what it is. But yep, yeah, I'm very happy that he's actually stuck with the twin turbo. You would have known that he's gone for a twin turbo setup, low mounted one from the, from the carbon fiber parts earlier. But yeah, that's that's that. So up next, I'm going to show you all some photos of not only just some of the parts that I've already here, but also some of the parts that are already with Steve. Um, I like to do that just because, again, it will be clear still images of any part numbers and those kind of things, as well as some of the parts that are already with them you'll be able to see them as well. This is just a bit more of an in-depth look onto the parts that we have here. But yeah, this is genuinely very exciting times. I know it's lockdown, so we're hopefully looking to go see Steve soon because the lockdown has started to ease. And we're looking to then also obviously not only just get an update on the build, but um, I'll see what else I can show you guys uh, in, in that respect of the, the project car there. One of the things for me, being that I've been to Japan recently with my brother and Jag and you know, walking around the Nissan factories and those kind of things, walking in Omori, you know, the Nismo shop and those kind of things. It's just honestly, it's so amazing. I do have some videos still of just clear walking around those showrooms. So I'm probably going to upload those soon as part of the lockdown. Um, I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, please subscribe for seeing what this car is going to turn into as well as you know seeing all the other projects that i have going on as well and leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see anything in particular that my brother would have shown on his instagram or those kind of things in a bit more detail or even something that i've shown you here today in this video my brother's instagram name is here so give him a quick check out and just to see what his car project is like he gets more frequent and regular updates but yeah i hope to see you all in the next video peace out keep building your dreams Rage on that beat, going crazy.
This is uh, one of the early ones. Look how excited they are yeah. over uh, wiring. Mm. This is an early one. How about the good thing? It's the same, same loom, just they did a different, this is an OE one, what they mm. call the OE. Mm -hmm. So this is what you want, OE plus. Yeah. Then they do the braided one. Okay. Quality is yeah. just good quality. Satin colour, isn't it? Yeah, shiny. 